Good day. Here we are, looking at the screen of a pet. And I'm going to look at a disc. It's T Pug, March 1983. Just think of that, 36 years ago. Anyway, I was looking here. Where was I looking? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, Lone Emhart. I figure that not much has changed in the world of loans. And this is made for an 80 column machine, thus the dot 8 at the end. So here we see this is made by Ron Fredericks, computer education instructor from Indiana. And somehow it ended up on t -Buggers. So, um, basically what this will do, and I'm not going to read, I hate when people just read everything on the screen, but uh, if you are interested in borrowing a certain amount of money, and um, you want to know what, how much it's going to cost for that loan, etc, 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 this will do it. So we're going to run through um, a quick thing. I'm, I'm not going to do a massive thing. Um, but really, uh, I just, somebody may tell me that, you know, things have changed in the loan business, but basically, I don't think much has changed that if you borrow a certain amount of money at a certain interest rate, um, hello, Sheldon. Hi, Sheldon. No, no, don't knock the tripod, please. Um, this should be, even though this is now some 36 years old, that if you had this program, it would be as good as it ever was. So, we are going to borrow $1,000. And we are going to say the interest rate is 5%. And we are going to pay it back over the course of one year, or 12 months. Type 1 for monthly totals, or 2 for loan totals. We will do monthly, and we want it on the screen, because I do not have a printer hooked up. Besides, if I did, you could hear it, but you couldn't see it. So, thank you very much. Okay, so here we have. Oh, okay, it only does 10 on a time. You would think it would do 12, but it doesn't. So, um, as we see here, we have the original amount. The payment amount is $85.61. It tells us how much the interest is, and how much interest we paid, and all those wonderful things. Let's just press return. It'll show us the last little bit, as well as a summary that uh, ooh, we saved two cents on the last payment. So basically, over the course of one year, if we borrow $1,000, we will end up paying back $1,027.30. And Sheldon, Sheldon, don't follow the tripod, please. Thank you. Thank you, Sheldon. Anyway, as I say, this program is um, as good as it ever was. Uh, runs on an 8032 or an 8096 or an 8296 or a super pet. It would run on a 40 column machine, it's just the screen is formatted for 80. So it would work, it would just not look right. But I suppose the printout would still be just as good as it ever was. So let us press 3. I appreciate being of service here, yes. I expect. To. Oh, it's gone. Okay. I guess it clears out memory. Sheldon, you're moving the tripod, Sheldon. Don't move the tripod, Sheldon. Okay, Sheldon. I will pet you. Don't touch the tripod, please. So here, Is 
is the program. And it is, you can tell this fellow was a teacher. It, everything here is documented. Every variable, every everything in remark statements. This is what we call good programming. So that if you did want to come in and tinker with this, there are, there may still be some things you have to tinker with somewhat. Or not, um, but you certainly don't have to figure out what the variables are. Um, and it's numbered mostly by tens, not always. Sometimes by fives, sometimes a little tighter if, you know, something had to be put in. I remember there was a program, um, it was something you had to buy, but I remember I did get it for some programs I was doing for the CBC. And it was called Power, and what made it really cool is you could ask it to rename say by tens, which always leaves lots of space, because, you know, things happen in the midst of programming. And it would, of course, change all the go-tos and change the go-subs and change everything to go with that, and it was very handy. This program is, seemingly, mostly, not completely by tens. I see there's 1175, 1176, 1177, 1178. Um, usually it's by ten. sometimes there's one by five in there. And sometimes, you know, more so. More so indeed. So, uh, it is made to print to two of the typical printers of the day. Hello, Sheldon. I can't reach your belly, Sheldon. Come here. Give me your head there. Here you go. And it is a fairly substantial program. If I Remember, it was 40-some blocks, and it does have an awful lot of REM statements to tell you what is going on. I suspect, as this fellow was a teacher, that he used this. Who knows, maybe he, he hadn't had, even had students help him with this, but he wanted to do it in a way... <coughs> that he could show it to them and say, see, this is a well-laid-out, well-organized program. Don't knock the tripod, Sheldon. No, knock the tripod, Sheldon. Thank you. So let's try another, just for one second here. Let's say we're going to borrow $5,000 at 5%, and we're going to do it in 10 payments because that's how many fit on the screen. And here we have it. So, the payment amount is $511.53. Oh, it looks like we saved one cent on the final. So it costs us $115.29 to borrow $5,000 for 10 months. Not bad. Anyway, another fine example of public domain programming done by a computer instructor and still just as good today, 36 years later. Maybe even more, because who knows how long he uh, how long it was before this found its way to a T-Pug disc. Who knows? Hello, Sheldon. Yes, I see you. So, um, thank you for coming. I hope this has been helpful. Comments are always welcome. If you want to subscribe, that would be great. Uh, maybe next time when Sheldon comes to visit, you'll be actually, you'll actually be able to see him rather than just, uh, sense him wrapping himself around the legs of the tripod. Until we meet again. Bye for now.